But first here, the father on trial for the death of his young son left inside a hot car. He calls it a tragic accident. But prosecutors say Justin Ross Harris intentionally killed 22-month-old Cooper in a case of death, deception, and a double life. And they called a former escort to the stand to strengthen their claim. Marcy Gonzalez is here with more. Good morning, Marcy. Colin and Dan, prosecutors hope that that former escort helped paint a picture of a man they allege was trying to escape his life as a husband and father. With day six of this trial focusing on a potential motive for what the defense insists was an accident. A former escort took the stand on Friday at the murder trial of Justin Ross Harris. Prosecutors allege Harris intentionally killed his 22-month-old son, Cooper Harris. The escort, Daniela Dewar, testifying she had sex with the defendant just weeks before he left his son to die in a hot car. The way I was able to describe him was just, he didn't have any presence about himself like he just didn't care. The boy died on a hot summer day in 2014 after being left by his father in the back seat of this silver SUV for several hours. Harris fighting a murder charge is pleading not guilty, saying he forgot to drop the boy off at daycare on his way into work. Harris seen now, here crying on the first day of testimony as he relived the day. But he was devastated by the loss of his son. Dewar testified she was approached by police a few months after the boy's death with a picture of Ross, stating the phone number she used during her days as an escort was found in Harris's phone records. Did you actually engage in sexual acts with him back in May? Yes, on three different occasions. Prosecutors pointing to Harris's cell phone records as well as computer searches as proof that Harris didn't want to be a father anymore. I entered the, the term child and found, found uh, five accesses to Reddit with the uh, term child free. But the defense highlighting what was missing in Harris and his now ex-wife's internet history, alleged searches related to in-car deaths. You found no evidence on the iPhone or Leanna's MacBook to corroborate that allegation. I found nothing that made statements to that effect, correct. And this really is just the beginning. The trial is expected to continue for at least several more weeks. And if convicted, Harris faces life in prison. It's a wrenching story. Marcy, thank you. Appreciate it.